Number 71. Heroes in movies hide beneath water and breathe through a hollow reed. Villains never catch on to this trick. In practice, you cannot inhale in this manner if your lungs are more than 60 centimeters below the surface. What is the maximum negative gauge pressure you can create in your lungs on dry land, assuming you can achieve negative 3 centimeters of water pressure with your lungs 60 centimeters below the surface? All right. So first of all, guys, how do you breathe in terms of pressure, right? How, how does air, so here you are, right? Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Here you are. Here are your lungs. And how does air get from the outside atmosphere into your lungs? Well, the only way that that happens is that if the pressure inside of your lungs here is less than the external pressure, okay, or the pressure inside of your cavity here, your chest cavity is lower than the atmospheric pressure. Okay. So the negative sign in terms of pressure is a relative sign, right? It's, you know, if you're talking about negative pressure, either there is pressure or there isn't, right? The negative sign is just telling you what side is higher or lower. Okay. So that being the case, we know that in order to breathe in, there better be some negative meaning Pressure has to be lower in the lungs than the external pressure. So here we have our little diagram, and we realize that at the, when the uh, superhero here, I guess, is 60 centimeters below the surface, inside of his or her lungs, there exists negative 3 centimeters of water of pressure. Now, this, remember, is relative to its immediate external environment. Okay. So the external environment here is basically uh, what, what would be the pressure? In other words, what would be the pressures on the superhero's lungs right now? Well, it looks like there's a 60 centimeter column of water right here that's weighing down right on the lungs, basically trying to push the air out, as well as there's also this atmospheric uh, level of pressure right due to the air right above. Also, if we look at the initial state, essentially, where the pressure on dry, uh, on dry land or the pressure of just the air up here, it's simply just then the column of air above it, right? So if you notice, the only difference really between this final stage down here and this initial stage is just the height of the water, because both stages still will take into account this overall column of air above it. So I can kind of just neglect that, all right? Now... When we, when, so if we think about this idea, right, that the pressure here is going to be a result of whatever pressure existed before the superhero was underwater, plus then the pressure due to the water, we can kind of create the simple equation, right? It's the pressure beneath the surface, meaning at the end, is equal to then the pressure that the superhero started with on dry air, plus then the pressure due to the water. All right, due to this column of water. So what did they tell us? Well, they told us down here that the pressure, uh, once they're beneath the surface, right, assuming, it says assuming you can achieve negative three centimeters of water pressure when you're below the surface. So this pressure value below the surface is negative three centimeters. I'm not going to use, I'm just going to use three instead of 3.00. Three, uh, three centimeters of H2O. That's the unit of pressure then we are asked to find out what the pressure is on uh, dry land. And we know we're going to be getting an increase in that pressure on the lungs, right? Uh, of now, what? Well, you, you might think, well, don't I need the density and all this and all that? Well, not exactly. See, they gave you the units here of centimeters of water. And they also told you the height of a column of water, basically, uh, above the individual's lungs. So, this will be then 60 centimeters of H2O of pressure that the water is exerting on the lungs at the bottom. So hopefully this equation now makes sense. And to solve then for the pressure on dry air, right? All we got to do is subtract this value from both sides. So we realize that the pressure on dry air that this person has to create inside of their lungs is going to be a negative 63.0 centimeters of water pressure amount of pressure. All right. So, you know, that should make sense. The pressure inside of the lungs, it should be negative if they're looking to inhale. Right. Uh, so 
basically how do you create a negative pressure inside of those lungs, right? Do you breathe in or breathe out? Well, let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.